I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina again, and I'm at our company's annual get-together meeting since we don't own a building and we're all located all over the place. And we're in this great hotel in downtown Charlotte with an excellent gym, six-lane swimming pool, great workout facilities, and they keep us busy from 6 a.m. to 9 or 10 p.m. and the Y opens at 5. So it's little short workouts and ugh. it's annoying. So all we do is eat and meet. And uh, I woke up this morning and ran. And then I tried to squeeze in a swim, but I only got 15 minutes, which is almost not worth it. But tomorrow I'm setting the alarm for 5 a.m. Actually for 4:50, so that I can start working out at 5. Oh gosh, ah, oh, I hate working out that early in the morning. I like doing it after work, but we get done at 5 and then we're supposed to meet in the lobby at 5.45 and what can you do that fast? It's just horrible. So, I don't know. At least it's only three days. And it's a semi-taper week since I have my first triathlon of the season on Sunday. A little sprint triathlon. Anyway, May 31st, coming at you from Charlotte. I had a week off last week at home from work, not on the road. Very nice. Now I'm on the road again. So, peace out. Alright, I was up at 5 a.m. this morning. Not fun, but I got an hour and a half biking in. And I think I'm going to be able to squeeze in my 35, 40 minutes of swimming at 5 o'clock. I stole away during a break to come up here. You see I'm dressed in clothes you normally don't recognize me in. That's okay. Hey, this tip of the week is patience. It took you a long time to get out of shape. And it's not instantaneous that you can get back in shape. Although your heart may bounce back faster, your body will take some time. Frequently, it'll take two or three weeks before you see even movement on the scale. That depends on how you scale back your eating and how much exercise you're doing. But once that hits, you'll see a steady decline in proportionate to the amount of effort that you spend on exercising and reducing your caloric intake. It won't be instantaneous, it's okay. I shed my first uh, 30 pounds over about six to eight month period and then I had the rest trickle off over a year. So I'm quite comfortable at 200. Uh, I don't want to be any lighter, although for races I need to be lighter, but to go from that 235 to 200 took a while and it took a lot of effort, uh, it took a lot of discipline. So be patient with yourself. You'll see your body changing, some of it's, concert, uh, some of it's converting uh, fat to muscle and some of it's just taking a while for your metabolism to increase again. So stick with it. You can do it. Bye.